Okay, so I'm doing one of my random vlogs today and it's gonna be about food. You know I always like a little foodie one every now and then, whether I'm eating steak or anything like that. Well, this one is about Scotch eggs. Uh, and to tell you the truth, a friend of mine who runs his shop behind, I saw on Facebook, he got these amazing Scotch eggs in. Chili ones, I think it was haggis as well and stuff like that. So I said, could you get me or save me some Scotch eggs and I'll come and get one and then we'll do a taste test. I, I just can't wait for the chili one because it's supposed to be pretty fiery. I'm not sure what the kids will make of it. Um, I'm in Thornbury, lovely little market town. Some of you might know it. This shop rid of is a bit of a legend. It's like the open all hours shop from uh, Ronnie Barker. And I think Ronnie Barker has actually been in this shop because they did film in Thornbury at one point. Um, but we'll have a look. It is an amazing place. It's like an Aladdin's cave of uh, goods. So let's have a look outside before I go in. Look at this, we got uh, everything. It's, it, I love this, it's just, you can't, um, you can't find shops like this very often now. Look at this, just randomly going down. Look at those butt beauties smashing. We've got beetroot, pears, not pears, peaches. The old bicycle in the window. The fruit and veg out of here. Again, this isn't product placement. I'm not paid to be here. I'm just coming here because I just, I just love it. Appreciate what this guy does and uh, proud to live in a little town like Thornbury which is just a wonderful little market town. So let's go in and see if I can find John if he's sheltering in the back. Uh, hello, hello. There are different sizes, yeah. I've come for the Scotch eggs. I know there. Alright, <laughs> hey. I'm just doing a little vlog. Okay. I'll just, just show everyone what an amazing shop this is. <laughs> it is wonderful. Is John about? He isn't about, John's on the fire engine. Oh, is he? He's an on-call fireman, so he's out doing the fire engine. Well, I'll come and look, find the, turkey, the Scotch eggs in a minute. Hello. All right, mate. Look at that. One of each or two of each? Oh, one of each. One will be enough. All right. So what have we got here? Let me have a look. I'll come through. We have what got... have you saved me? We've got chilli. We've got... Hazlitt. Hazlitt. What's, what's Hazlitt? Do you really want to know? Yeah, go on, tell me. Um, I think it's sort of entrails and things. Oh, it? it's yeah. a bit like haggis then, is it? Or guts yeah, or something? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Not, not nice stuff. No, I don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> probably re I'll probably Google yeah. it after I've eaten it. Yeah, that might be better. So Hazlitt, chilli, and what's the other one? Black pudding. Black pudding. Oh, I love a bit black of pudding. black pudding. There we go. Where do you get these from then? Just a local wholesaler or something, is it? Because yeah. you, you do quite a lot of random stuff, don't you? <laughs> we are fairly random. Yeah. This is rid of it. This is rid of it. <laughs> I love it. I'm, people around the world are going to see this video and I tell them when they come to Thornby, come to Ridderford's and choose your selection in a real proper traditional English shop. We never see anything like this anywhere else, will you? Absolutely. I caught you cooking sausages once behind the counter, didn't I? No. Uh, surely no, not. surely not. Surely not. So tell me. Is um, Ronnie Barker's been in this shop, is that right? He has been in this shop. Yeah. He has been in this shop. Um, there was even a shop, remember the worm that turned? Yeah, the worm that turned yeah. on the two Ronnies. Um, there was a shot of Ronnie Barker walking out of the front door of the shop. Fantastic. Apparently. I'll have to have a look on YouTube, it's bound yeah. to be on there, everything else yeah. is. Right, I'm going to buy these and then I'm going to go home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat my kids to these. I'm not sure how pleased they'll be. Cheers guys, thanks. Well, just don't tell them what's in them. Well, they're, they're, my make, young... Make it a blind taste Good Good question, good point, yeah. Like that. Let me just put, this, let me just put this down in Okay, so I've got, got my scotch eggs. I've got some customers here, look. Busy, busy. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna treat the kids to these. Not sure what they'll react to, but thanks very much. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> I better have some cold water ready to eat. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Okay, so I'm back home with my scotch eggs and surprise, surprise, no one else wanted to eat them. Uh, and the, the kids wouldn't look, look at them and they said, no, not interested. Harry's off watching a CD, a DVD even. Jack's cleared off because now he's got a phone. He's getting all these WhatsApp messages from all his mates about um, what tutor group they're in for school because they've just found out. So I am here on my own without my backup crew and Monkey Harry. Um, so we're going to have a look at what we've got. So we have got three scotch eggs. We've got black pudding, 50% pork, 27% egg and 12% black pudding. 
that sounds that sounds interesting. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we've got this one. Just open that one. Haslet Scotch egg. Not sure what that is. So they were a bit dubious in the shop. 62% pork, so more pork. 27% egg. So I'm wondering whether the increase in the pork is the bits that are a bit hmm because the rest is kind of seasoning and stuff. Haslet seasoning. I've got to Google Haslet. If any of you are doing that, look it up. Okay, and this one, I, I might have to get a glass of water actually for this one because I don't know what this one's going to be like. This is the chili scotch egg. Now I have to say, unfortunately, the price tag is, or the best before date, is over the top of the well, ingredients. So I think it says for, pork 52%. Next ingredient is egg, which I presume is the same as these, so my family 27% egg. And then I can't see what the next ingredient is, so I don't know how much chilli is in here. Maybe not much, I don't know. It's got pepper, it's got uh, paprika. Oh, it says chilli flake at the end. Hmm. How strong that is, I don't know. I just think made in the West Midlands. Okay, so, right. What should we start on first? Chili at the end, and haslet or black pudding. I'm gonna go for the haslet, right. It looks like a normal black pudding at the moment. Should we, I'll tell you what, I'll cut them all three in half, and then we'll have a little comparison. So that's the haslet at the top. Not much egg yolk in that egg. Black, black pudding one. Oh, got little bits of flaky black in it. Right, let's have a look. And then the chilli one. Can I eat three scotch eggs in one go? I probably could actually. You kind of, I think you've kind of got to know me now. I think you know that I am a bit of a, I eat all the things that probably people shouldn't do. I like steak, I like real ale, I like black puddings, I like pasties, all the kind of blokey, very, I'm very traditional bloke in my, what I like. I like roast dinners and everything like that. Fish and chips, you know, all the, I'm, I'm not going to be sat down with a corn steak, really. Not unless I'm trying one for a video. So this one's got chips. So let's start again. So we've got the Hassler. Doesn't let any... Smells like scotch egg. Black pudding. Hasn't got much smell, that one. Got blacky bits in it. And then we finally got chilli one. Doesn't look any different. Right, I'm going to take a big bite. Mmm. That's a good scotch egg. Do you know when you buy ones from supermarkets, sometimes they're really dry and they're not really very good. It needs really not. Mmm. Mm. I must remember to stop eating that one because I like that one. By the way, I'm not promoting this as in I'm not paid. It's entirely voluntary. I just went to the shop and got these. I'm not paid. They didn't ask me to come and do it. I'm, it's not one of these things. You know, I keep telling people this because I like doing stuff like this. I'm not paid to do this. I'm just doing it right. Black pudding. Mmm. 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 Now, I really like black pudding. And it does got a flavour of black pudding. You can see, I don't even see inside, there's like little bits of black pudding inside the mix. So what they've obviously done is bro broken up black pudding, mixed it in with the pork. These are really nice. Mmm. Mmm. These are damn good. I, mmm. Blimey, I'm going to buy these again. I um black pudding's better. I've, the haslet's nice. Throw the black pudding one. Right. Now this is the one. This is the one that actually got me to go to the shop. I saw the guy on Facebook eat one of these, the chili one, and he was going ah. And I thought, God, I love one of those. Right. How chilliish is it? I don't know. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. 
Oh, oh, it's building. Oh, 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 oh. Climbing. Oh, these are wicked. Oh. Oh. I'm getting water. I gotta get some water. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's hot. That is lovely. Hmm. Sorry. Very nice. Hmm. So that is pretty hot. Oh, let's keep getting kicking. Oh. Oh, flipping heck. Oh. Oh. Sorry, it sounds like some sort of rude sex tape. <laughs> oh, oh. I think not everyone's gonna like <laughs> Jesus Christ. That ate's quite strong. Uh, <laughs> it's really nice, I really like it, but <laughs> I think the Hazlitt one is just good. That I really like because I like black pudding in it. This is half is enough. Share that with someone. Probably I'm gonna eat the other one another day. But they're still really nice. All in all, very good. And I'm now going to uh, just put my mouth in the freezer and suck an ice cube. Okay, cheers guys.